His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has received a letter from the custodian of the two holy mosques and monarch of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, inviting His Majesty to attend the fourth summit for Arab and Southern American countries, set to be held in Riyadh next month. The letter was presented to His Majesty the King by the Saudi ambassador to Bahrain, Dr. Abdullah Al Sheikh, during a meeting at Sukhair Palace. The ambassador conveyed to His Majesty the greetings and appreciation of King Salman and his wishes for Bahrain and its people a further progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the custodian of the two holy mosques for the kind invitation, expressing pride in the deep-rooted historic relations linking the two kingdoms and people, as well as in the developing brotherly cooperation and coordination in various fields. His Majesty also commended the pioneering and leading role of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, led by King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in serving Arab and Islamic nations and defending just causes around the world. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace today the Chairman of the Constitutional Court, Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid Al Khalifa, who introduced to His Majesty Judge Isa Mubarak Al Kabi, who took the legal oath before His Majesty following issue of the royal order to appoint him to the Constitutional Court. His Majesty the King congratulated Judge al Kaabi, wishing him success in performing his national duty. He commended the significant role of the Constitutional Court and its various bodies, highlighting its efforts in reinforcing the principles of justice, sovereignty of law and respect for the Constitution. His Majesty confirmed Bahrain's keenness to support all authorities and institutions with Bahraini professionals who have proved their efficiency. He said the National March would continue in the best interests of the country and the people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued a circular regarding the official holiday for the Ashura anniversary for Hijra year 1437. The circular stipulated that the Kingdom's ministries, directorates, authorities and public institutions will take a two-day holiday on the Ashura anniversary, which this year falls over the weekend, Friday and Saturday, and therefore will be offset with another two days, Sunday and Monday, the 25th and 26th of October. His Royal Highness directed the early defrayal of October salaries and wages on Thursday, October the 22nd, saying the relevant bodies had been instructed to take the necessary actions for this purpose. The BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, received at the General Command today the Chairman of the Board of Directors of Al-Hakma Society and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Health, Lieutenant General Dr Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa welcomed the chairman and board members of Al Hekma Society, commending the society's efforts in caring for pensioners. The meeting also discussed several issues of common concern. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, received today a group of activists for peaceful coexistence from India who are currently visiting Bahrain. The minister said Bahrain presents a unique and enviable model of coexistence in which all faiths, affiliations and sects live in harmony on the basis of solid values that are deeply rooted in the Bahrain community. He affirmed Bahrain's support for all efforts aimed at reinforcing the concept of peaceful coexistence and cooperation as the driving force behind stability and security achievements, awakening of the people and their ability to overcome challenges. For their part, the Indian delegation commended the peaceful coexistence prevailing in the kingdom, which has become a model of development and sound reputation around the world. The Minister of Information and Parliamentary Affairs, Issa Al Hamadi, today launched a comprehensive training programme in cooperation with the Journalist Professional Training Centre the National Audiovisual Institute and the Royal University for Women, supported by Tamkeen and Bahrain Development Bank at the Information Affairs Authority. Present were Tamkeen's chairman and acting chief executive, Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, and a number of officials. The minister delivered a speech expressing his pleasure in activating the two MOUs between Bahrain and France regarding the development of Bahraini press and media professionals. 
The minister stressed the importance of launching such training programmes that aim to develop the skills and efficiency of media personnel. The World Monuments Fund, the WMF, announced that the president of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Omey bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, has been chosen as the first Arab personality to win the 2015 Watch Award in recognition of the kingdom's cultural achievements and its leading role in preserving humanitarian and cultural heritage. Sheikh Omey and Queen Sophia of Spain will be honoured later today in New York at the annual Hadrian Gala, which coincides with the World Monument Fund's 50th anniversary. Sheikh Omey said the award sends a message to the whole world that Arab countries are experiencing sensitive situations whilst their sons do their best to preserve the cultural and historic landmarks, referring to the Manama-based Regional Arab Centre for Global Heritage.